Assalamu alaikum, this is Amir Khan Rizai and we are starting lecture 11 stream 1. In the previous lecture 10 we discussed benchmarking, total quality management, TQM and re-engineering and learning organization and success and failure. So we discussed over there. In the current lecture, lecture 11, we will be discussing location theory, impact of technological change and basic location principles. So stay tuned. So the location theory, the concept of location is absolute location that means coordinate system and relative location means referring to other locations. So an analyzing location decision of firms and individuals that what locates where and looking for a formulation rules of behavior. So the Y factor comes into action. So relevance of uh, geography, location is a resource multiplier. So using resources more efficiently <clears throat> a city is a more effective production and consumption structure so some locations have higher sales potentials they differ mainly because of their accessibility accessibility can be a proxy for the value of the space like factories and uh, manufacturing units near uh, a big city like Lahore or Karachi so definitely the most consumption or the consumers are sitting over there it's easy to produce and then deliver it to the city the delivery time is less and, um, uh, and efficient so the location can be a resource in itself bottleneck rent uh, effort on flow like canal bridges or canal, uh, tunnels so capturing rent for a right of passage plus construction and maintenance of infrastructure that also have an impact on it this pyramid uh, on location uh, actually explains the basic location factor. So, looking into the location, you have to look for the site, its accessibility, socio-economic environment, its micro or meso or the macro level. So, micro is local, meso is the regional level and macro is national level. So, in micro, we look at the land, utility, visibility and transportation and uh, meso level where we look mostly look at the labor material energy market suppliers customers and in macro level the main ingredients are capital technology and taxation so basically there are three uh, theories which we need to discuss and we need to understand on that and uh, need to be kept in mind is factors of location scale and organization business and production cycle with this we come to an end to uh, lecture 11 stream 1 but um, as I have uh, given you the test in the previous lecture so this is the answer sheet for that so you have to uh, look at it that and you can measure your uh, potential on it that what you have learned and did you attempted the right question with the right answers or not so this this may help you uh, in have a better understanding on it so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and I will be coming back in the lecture 11 stream too. So stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah rahman rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amir Khan Alizai with lecture 11 stream 2. What is the Weberian representation? So we will have a look at it. The contemporary relevance, decline in transport costs, the more. Uh, locational flexibility, terminal cost and non-linear transportation cost functions. It also depicts the importance of intermediary uh, load break locations, <coughs> level of level of uh, dematerialization of the economy, smaller and uh, lighter products, more added values, inertia and cluster formation depicts the real world decision or not the outcome of optimization accumulation of related firms scale and organization reflects the sale economies agglomeration economies vertical and horizontal integration so looking into the sale economy the fundamental principle is the uh, divisions of uh, labor favors productivity easier to train workers to perform a single task the division of labor insights a higher scale of operation reduction in production costs is relation to the increase of output so uh, looking into this uh, diagram it's uh, keeping uh, cost per unit on y axis and plant size on the x axis so we can see these three lines of a b c with blue red and uh, green color so the a represents the small industry like restaurants personal services b depicts the 
large industries like banks and manufacturing. C depicts very large industries like air, aircraft manufacturing and refineries, etc. In scale of economies, what are diseconomies of scale? So, size uh, level after which the cost per unit increases often linked with growing complexities and difficulties to manage. The ideal firm size is when uh, diseconomies of scale starts to improve. Agglomeration economies, the agglomeration of firms, clustering of firms creating advantages, positive external economies of scale, production linkages. वो किस तरह से डेवलप होते हैं कि जी रिडक्शन ऑफ इनपुट कॉस्ट थ्रू प्रॉक्सिमिटी एंड कॉमन परचेज ऑफ इनपुट शेयर सिमिलर मटेरियल एंड पार्ट सर्विस लिंकेजेस आर स्पेशलाइज्ड सर्विसेज क्रिएट एंड एनवायरनमेंट प्रोन टू इनोवेशन टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ टेस्ला ऑन द नोट ऑफ इनोवेशन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स द अर्बनाइजेशन इकोनॉमीज एग्लोमेशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन नेमली कॉमन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर एग्जांपल यूटिलिटीज और पब्लिक ट्रांसिट द अवेलेबिलिटी एंड डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ लेबर एंड मार्केट साइज so industrialization economies uh, represents the agglomeration allog of uh, industrial activities such as being their uh, respective suppliers or customers the favor this favors the emergence of industrial clusters localization means uh, uh, the agglomeration of set of activities near a specific facility a transport terminal logistic parks or the seat of the government lobbying or consulting or law or a large university technological park so this come into the localization of economies so this picture on logistics point of view on the transportation point of view represents the co location zone so from main terminal how many activities it can generate and how it has to be dealt with bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalam alaikum amir khan ali zai here with lecture 11 stream 3 Here we will be discussing the vertical and horizontal uh, integration. So there are three components which uh, needs to be discussed: nature, its goal, and the issues. So in vertical integration, expand backward suppliers or forward customers along the supply chain, and uh, horizontal integration into it is the acquiring or merging with competitors. Outsourcing is some activities performed by another corporations. Uh, looking into the goal of it lower cost enhance and uh, protect production quality improve supply chain efficiency horizontal integration as economies of scale production differentiations business model replication and oligopoly whereas the outsourcing in this particular activity is the reduced cost focus on core competencies looking into the issues in vertical one high cost structure of suppliers more difficult to adapt to changes whereas horizontal uh, integration is different businesses culture and team monopolistic responses so the outsourcing in this uh, activity is the dependency loss of uh, competency so one can relate the coal extraction iron ore steel marketing metallic production mechanical production uh, towards the corporation and towards this activity main types of economies in production distribution and consumption so uh, going into the detail the economies of transportation we will look into the economies of scale economies of scope economies of agglomeration economies of uh, density so while uh, in the uh, three pans we have to look into the production distribution and consumption so from first topic if we look at the economies of transportation so lower unit cost through accessibility to suppliers and customers the distribution is the lower and a unit distribution cost through transport uh, chains the management and consumption is lower unit output cost through accessibility to suppliers and customers so uh, economies of scale says the lower unit cost with larger plants distribution is uh that distribution through larger models and terminations consumption is that the cost with larger retail outlets further at the last we are looking into the economies of uh, density so increased accessibility in labor skills with uh, higher densities distribution is lower uh, unit distribution cost with higher densities and consumption explains it at the increased accessibility to goods and services with higher uh, densities in uh, growth of large multinationals so we have to look at into these uh, three pans the new market opportunity better management 
and state support so in uh, market uh, opportunities one has to look for the resource technological product technology and innovations uh, in better management one has to look for the uh, less innovative uh, sectors mostly financial holdings and outsourcing so the government support is definitely required over there for large government contracts like defense corporations uh, and the private profits and socialized losses so all these things need to be backed up by the state support so this is what is called impact of technology and that uh, technological impact that innovation is dependent on decades if we look into the modern history of communication from uh, let's say for the last 100 years 100 year plus so from 1900s 1920 telephone came in 1876 radio and two stocking uh, motor picture 1910 motion pictures in 1910 television came in 1923 and from then the era of 30s and 50s so uh, the public service computers in 1944 then transistors came into being in 48 then uh, commercial computers uh, came after the innovation in 1951 the room size big computers which which, which were used and that was the uh, starting of the new era of the technology then integrated uh, circuits were created which we or nowadays we call, we call it chip so that in 1958 the innovation then it moves on from 60s to 80s so in 66 fax machine came into being and 71 the microprocessors so in 1971 the first email was sent in 76 apple a home computer came into being in 79 first cellular phone network then in 81 ibm pc or laptop computers then the era of 90s to 2000s and 93 Intel Pentium processor, which created a market boom. 1994 World Wide Web came into being. 95 the Microsoft Internet Explorer came into action, which changed all the concept of the computer usage. And in 1997 AOL Instant Messenger came into uh, existence, and then people tried to use it very fastly. Then in 1998 digital uh, overtake like analog google incorporated so in 99, uh, 1999 the data uh, exceeds voice that came into being so all these technological and innovative moves um, uh, move this world very fast now going through into the current uh, era of technological and communication innovation so uh, still in 2003 there was myspace which was used in 2004 facebook came came into uh, the uh, the in innovation to the world in 2005 the YouTube introduced itself and then there Twitter and Apple iPhone and the Facebook overtakes MySpace and the Apple iPad innovation came into that and Google introduces the Google Plus thing in 2011 nowadays we can see this technological move with the uh, shrinking of the chips all the uh, big computers have uh, shrink from the laptop to palm top and now all the everyone uses these small mobiles in their hands as their palm tops so this is the brief history on the technological and technological introduction and the uh, innovation in, uh, in uh, happened in 20th and 21st century so stay tuned and see you in the next lecture Allah Hafiz Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum this is Amir Khan Ali Zai, lecture 11 stream 4 in this lecture we will be continuing on technological level and uh, uh, it's the technological changes occur, occur in uh, current era although each firm is trying to seek competitive advantages through its own uh, problem solving efforts in most cases technological changes is driven by numerous firms and organizations involved in technological development so as a result at the level of a specific technology uh, the ecological change displays evolutionary dynamics that are not controlled by a single firm so although uh, breakthroughs are uh, difficult to forecast one uh, on a technological uh, has emerged the evolutionary dynamics display predictable patterns that enable us to uh, uh, to, to, to give us the directions of technological change the implication of a technological management it's dependent on innovation limitations and adoption the role of technology and uh, market factor that also has an impact in it and 
centrality of uh, learning so these are the main factors uh, which highlights the technological evolution while discussing the technological change the machines are smaller and easier to deploy machines uh, produce more results in technological unemployment as we discussed the with the innovation into the chip size and from desktop to the laptop is the palm top so definitely this reduction of size has introduced new innovations and new ways they have shown to us the replacing of labor with high technological machines has become more and more eminent and uh, there is an increase in labor unemployment but uneducated uh, laborers actually this is also pushing on the other hand the laborers to 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 go for some skills to to have to learn something to have some knowledge uh, just like a laborer uh, in my initial lecture i have said that he was only using the uh, spade and uh, the sickle to um, uh, to 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 dig to dig the basement for a for for the construction of a home and nowadays an excavator is being used so that same laborer has to improve his skill and to learn something how to uh, manage and how to run a machine for doing the same excavation work which he was doing with his bare hands and with spade and the sickle so uh, so now this technological era the machines has taken over uh the the laborers that work which was done by the bare uh, bare hand so nowadays you have to use these uh, technological uh, things you have to use the machines even now cutting of grass is being done by the electric machines so uh, we were using the lawn movers initially that was done by hand so uh, excavation and uh, doing all the construction work is done by the heavy machinery so the laborers has to have some skill uh, skill skill based knowledge to utilize their energies and to have uh, uh, their bread and butter going the same goes into the communication and presentation uh, uh, means you can see uh, the evolution in this particular slide from 2000 uh, 1928 the evolution of the televisions from 229 and then 1948 and then 60s and and the uh, 50s and then 50s and 58 and then 70s and then coming to the 90s and nowadays from 2008 and onward the lcd and then from lcd to led so now this is actually that technology technology which is uh, changing time by time and which is bringing innovation to our society also uh, bringing the positivity to our society so the positive implications to well being is the physical social spiritual and political well being so looking into the political the financial gains and trade social the effective warning service and uh, global news improve communication relationship and spiritual the tolerance of other cultures so you you listen to it you make your um, point valid and uh, negative implication to our well-being is increased risk of computer based crime due to global uh, social networking risk of uh, border security breaching due to the increased accessibility to transport and also you might have heard about the hackers so this is the same technology that they hack the uh, your computer system your even credit card your banking systems your uh, websites so these are those negativities but with the positive negativity do prevail but negativity is percentage is lower or on a, on a, on a low as compared to the positivity of this uh, innovation and new technological inbuilt with this we come to an end of this particular lecture and here is the another uh, uh, quiz for you so you have to go through it this is dependent uh, based on the previous lectures and then uh you can just uh, these are mcqs you can select the right answer for these questions and for answer of this uh, i will come with, come up with it in the next lecture and the end of that next lecture you will get the answers to this particular questionnaire so stay tuned and allah hafiz bismillah rahman rahim assalamu alaikum this is amir khan ali zai lecture 11 stream 5 so we were discussing technology and well being so the impact of technology on the workplace the so technology has improved productivity improved efficiency reduced cost enhanced customer services so this is all uh, in form of efficiency the impact of technology on uh, consumers that has an impact on by making purchases use services and applications plan uh, vacations and obtain entertainment 
by uh, keeping pace with new technology and new competitive environment so the people and the consumers are moving on and this is the biggest technological challenge for uh, businesses thank you with that uh, we come to an end to this particular lecture and uh, uh, the, the chapter 11 and stream 5 at the end of uh, this particular lecture i am sharing the uh, uh, the the answer to that uh, there is a first particular quiz which i have given in the previous lecture this is the slide in which you can have a look at the right answers for it so if you have applied yourself in that you can judge it now that how many marks you got in it and what was the understanding uh, based on the lectures and based on the you know, on the literature or the books which you have read the concept clarity with these particular quizzes will give you the uh, right direction thanks with that uh, i'm coming to the conclusion and don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel and i will be coming back uh, with my new lecture streams on uh, the economy of pakistan so stay tuned and see you and then we will be discussing the economy of pakistan as per the uh, subject outlines so inshallah uh, i will try my best to uh, keep the track going and give you the simple and easiest ways to understand the main logic behind the uh, economical terminology.